So we just chuck the battery in here and we've got to wait for the, the lid to change or we're waiting for a set of wheels for it. But um, I thought I'd just give you a quick video because um, just show what we've done to it so far. So we've put some rear lights on it. These are designed to come off really quick and they still have brakes. All that stuff still going because it's road legal. This will come off when we want to actually ride it properly off road. The reason we left the indicators on that on British rules are that if you've got a switch with indicators and you want it to be road legal, they have to work. So we've left the indicators on working, all right? But like I said, when we go on track, that will all come off. We put quick aftermarket light on it as well. Nice and bright. We like yellow because it looks good. We sell them in white as well. Fox 40s are on. We've hidden a wire behind this. I'm not sure if we can improve this or not, but we might have a go. You can see it looks so bad. We keep the standard brakes, but we're gonna, we put HO3Cs, whatever you call them in there, because um, these are four calipers. We're just trying to save a little bit of money on that. We've got some SM Pro 21s to go on there. So these top wheels are to be put on just so we can push around the workshop. We've got Woody's Worldworks on the rear. That may stay on there, but we've got an SM Pro to go on there. We've added a 400 pound, 600 pound spring to the standard suspension. The KO motors in, our big Koenig 500 amp batteries in. The Koenig controls in. Now this is what's interesting. So I've only turned this on literally five seconds. I thought, do you know, I'll just try the throttle. I didn't expect anything to happen. So I thought it hasn't, we haven't tuned it. So this is just out of the packet. <laughs> Can see that's working straight out of the packet although maybe not that smooth i really don't know we can't ride it yet until we got the whistle but we've got ep mode and sport mode now the reason we've done this is that we've been reading reports that the bike's kind of uncontrollable in full power well, that kind of makes sense because if you're going to put 40 horsepower for something as small as this something's going to flip around so what we're going to try and do is we're going to set this bike up to be really smooth in eco mode up to about 12,000 watts, 10,000 watts. So it's nice and controllable, good throttle response. And we're basically going to say, when you want to go about 30, 40 mile, I hit the funny button, sport mode, and let it rip. All right, so just out of the packet. <laughs> quite a pleasant so That is not a lot of movement. You can hear it spinning. It's a lot of Obviously, if we put it in EPO mode, <laughs> that smooths it out quite a lot. Anyway, Forget this thing, this is just an idea we got. We got a crappy Samsung phone and we thought we'd put a quad lock on it in the center. We've had to adapt it because it's a shit phone. But the idea is that when we tune it, we'll put the app on, the app on here and we'll ride around it and get it working properly. Bit of a long winded video, but just sort of give a quick update. We're getting there. Um, I think the bike's gonna look pretty good. Um, and like I said, we're trying to keep it road legal-ish.